Hey guys, it's your girl Shalane. I'm back today with a four stimulus check update video. In today's video, we're going to discuss the status of the most trending topic in the world. We're also going to talk about unemployment, hazard pay, student loans, as well as this child tax credit because a lot of people want to know how do I get it? SSI and more, my darling. Why? Because today is Ask Chalet, and you guys know this is my favorite segment. So if you want to know what the family had to ask, you already know what to do. Stay tuned. Your girl's got you covered. Now, if this is your first time tuning into my channel, hi, hello, hey, friend. My name is Chalet, and here on this channel, we discuss shopping, saving, and everything in between. I would love to have you a part of my internet family. Super easy. Click the big old red subscribe button down below when you're in just like that. And while you're at it, go ahead and give me a like because you love me bringing this content each and every single day and I enjoy doing it. Now guys, don't forget on Sunday, I'm having my webinar. So you all you have to do is register. It is free 99. I want to see you there as well. Let's go ahead and get a copy of my ebook. And then I have my one-on-ones for the month of May. So if you want to get my advice on some business life advice, whatever girlfriend how to get affiliate marketing go ahead and book it and yeah let's get to it all right so let's go ahead the first question comes from nikki 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 says hey chalet hey girl are we going to really get this for stimulus check or what because i don't think it's going to get people out of poverty now nikki word on the street is they're trying to get one more stimulus check passed is it going to happen i i don't know do i want it to happen absolutely will it lift some people out of poverty possibly um, on there because right now with people losing their jobs and just with not having money at all it has been able to save them from you know not being evicted from their home so it could possibly help i know a lot of senators and lawmakers are calling for it as well and they're calling for reoccurring checks and i mean the unemployment numbers are looking a little bit better now so i don't know if that's really going to happen i'm not going to get my hopes up but hey if it happens to come I am mad at it, I'll take it. The next one comes from Shintavia. Hey Shalay, have you heard anything else about tax returns? The latest one I just looked up tax returns, it says there is going to be a delay in tax returns. Remember the season doesn't end until May 17th. They were still processing 2019 tax returns. They are on track to go ahead and get this child tax credit out by July 1st and the portal is being created for that. So, and then they're still sending out stimulus checks plus up payments. Um, it's just a lot going on, right? I mean, this week we have VA, some more SSDI gets checks as well. So it's just a lot going on right now in the IRS, the Department of Treasury. So hopefully um, they didn't have a date on there at all. And the next one comes from Regina Chalet. What if I did not receive my 2019 taxes or my stimulus check? So for, I'm not sure with your 2019 taxes, why you, oh, what? Cause this would have been this year you would have filed for 2020. So on there, were you entitled to any taxes? Was it garnished? Did it go to pay off a bill? I would reach out to irs.gov or call them and see what's going on. Now with your stimulus check, is it the same thing? Could it have been garnished? Did you qualify for it? Did you make enough on there? So I would say, Regina, check the get my payment portal. Does they do, does it have anything updated for you? You may have to call them girlfriend. The next one comes from Rhonda. Are they giving any type of grants or money for disabled people to help in purchasing vehicles, phones, help with rental assistance, help with car insurance or repairs, veterinarian bills, animals, clothing, grants? Is it possible to help with internet access or computer buys, furniture items, household supplies, cooking? For most of my SSDI goes for rent and electric and I don't have much left over. Rhonda, this is a great question, my love. I have so many videos in the vault that is going to address this. So the first thing that you could do, Rhonda, is you need to dial 211 or 311, depending on your area, because there are a lot of things out there. Now, when it comes to purchasing a vehicle, have not seen anything. Phone, they have different things like uh, Link, and it's another provider. I can't think of the name right now, but they do have phones. Rental assistant, girl, just name a program, name a city, name a state, because each county has their own. Car insurance or repairs, not so much. I haven't seen anything like that. Veterinarian bills, um, no, but there's a lot of veterinarians that are doing pro bono and they're giving out like animal food, animal clothing as well. And this is happening at like different animal shelters 
um, that I've seen that they are producing that. When it comes to internet access and computer bias, absolutely, there's a program, the um, emergency broadband. I got a full video coming on it. So yes, there are things left over, but dial 211 or go to our good old friend Google or wait because they're coming out. All right, the next one comes from Emily. She says, hey, Shalay, I need help with my business training. I have to transform my life. Thank you for your help and support. Emily, girl, go ahead and book your one-on-one. -on -one. I'm trying to help you transform your life. Like, y'all, I'm not even gonna lie to you. Five, six years ago, my life was a mess. It was chaotic, yes, even me, right? Um, but all you gotta do is have a plan, a vision for your life. I mean, you know, the Bible says make it plain. You gotta write it down, make it plain. Okay, and then, hey, let's go ahead and get started. If you have to create a vision board, if you have to put things on there, if you just wake up every single day and you have nothing to do for your day, that's what's gonna happen. The day is going to end up running you. I'm, 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 there's no way to put it. You're gonna wake up, you're gonna click on my video, you're gonna watch my video, you're gonna get a few chuckles, hee hee, girl, you funny. And then you're gonna go ahead and click off the video and you're gonna go back and watch your TV or watch somebody else on YouTube. And that's what's gonna happen. You gotta have some things for your day. What do you need to do? Like, are we trying to get a job? Today, do we need to work on our resume? You know, so put on there. What do you, do three things for the day, your top three things, and go ahead and work from there. But yeah, all right. The next one comes from Stacy. She says, hey, Shalee, I'm not sure if you covered this, but I'm trying to get information on travel grants. If you travel during the pandemic for emergencies, such as funerals or just any travel at all, I believe there was some discussion mid-summer 2020. Have you heard anything about this? Thank you so much for you do, and I purchased your ebook. Much love from the boot, baby. The boot, baby, boot. Oh, boot, baby, boot. Hey, Stacy, Stacy. All right, so remember, Stacy, they were thinking about, it was a proposal that was done over the summer where it was like, it was supposed to be like a travel grant that did not make the docket. And as of right now, there's nothing um, with travel grants, but they do have like, if you're in certain cities or states that they're paying you to actually move to their state, but that's about travel. And then they also have where FEMA is getting funeral, um, where you can get up to $9,000 in repayment with as most as $35,000 for funerals. They do have that. But traveling for a funeral or just traveling during the pandemic, there was nothing out there. And, and you're right. They did have, it was what, Explore America. I think it was Explore America travel grant. Y'all help me. It was such a year ago, right? Um, but I want to say it was like Explore America, but that did not get passed on there. But thank you for purchasing my book. Much love from the boot, baby boot. Hey, hey, boot, baby boot. All right, the next one comes from Wanda. Wanda said, did Florida get approved for the maximum allotment? I spoke to someone at Children and Family, and they said they haven't gotten approved for April, but we weren't on a boat, and we weren't approved for a pandemic EBT. But everyone is saying different things. Girl, you can go to the USDA website, they have where Florida has been approved for a pandemic EBT. I don't know why some people say different. I mean, it's just not like it's just made up in the sky like we just picking. Now, I did not see anything as of today for Florida being on the emergency allotment. That I did not see for April. But pandemic EBT, you are on the list. So I don't know who you talk to, okay? But tell them to do their job. Or you go, and go ahead and get some research done. All right, the next one comes from Douglas. Am I eligible for a $1,000 check? Where are we getting a check from, Douglas? What does what, what is, what is $1,000 come from? Help me out, homie. Help me help you, because where that's coming from? I don't know. You got to help me. The next one. Do you know anything about Florida getting their April benefits? Let me check one more time, okay? Let me, let me see. Let me see, because you know, it changed by the minute. It changed by the day. So let me go ahead and check on here for Florida, okay, for your emergency allotment. And I know this month it was just a little bit different when it came to the emergency allotments because y'all, so many states now are not declaring themselves an emergency and that's what's happening. Like, you know, if you're not declared an emergency, they're not trying to give out this money. And y'all, I know Alabama and everybody else just like Alabama, Mississippi, Louisiana, and Georgia. All right, so I'm looking today for the emergency allotment, and no, I just still do not see Florida on the list. I thought, it, you know, maybe it changed, but I'm also going to check for the pandemic EBT list, and Florida is on the pandemic EBT list, so I was right on that, y'all. All right, the next one, so no for as of right now. The next one comes from Sarah. 
For the Pell Grant, how do I go about applying for it? I've never been in college. I'm a single mom of three kids of two live with me and I've been really thinking about changing my career. I know there's money floating around out there. Do you have any advice, advice on how I can get my hands on it? I watch it every day and I want to know what's going on for the most part. Maybe you could put a little more detail or point me in the right direction. Okay, Sarah, you are the person that I love to talk to, girl. I love you. I love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And anyone that wants to change their life, I love it. Y'all, you can be anything that you want to be, okay? Anything. It doesn't matter what age, what time, what you're going through. As long as you have breath in your body, okay, there is hope for you, my darling. So, Sarah, the first thing that I would do is I would go to a community college or some type of college and speak with a counselor and I will speak with them to help so that way they can help you fill out the Pell Grant. You can go to FAFSA, I think it's like FAFSA.gov or FAFSA.com. It's going to ask you questions regarding your tax return so if you still have your taxes you can go and fill it out. However, by this being your first time you want to make sure that you don't mess it up you know because you think that they want anything and you don't qualify. So. That's why I would say go to like, um, try to find a career counselor. You can go to the career center in your state. You can go to a college, you can go to a university, um, a community college, any type of social worker or find someone that has been to college. And I, I'm telling you, they will help you. And I'm, I might do a video how to, and show people how to do your FAFSA, but that's where I would start. Go to FAFSA and there's probably already a video on YouTube to show you but go to them talk to them because depending on how much you are awarded you know or to see this the school may have other programs going on but yes there is a lot of money flowing around here especially for education one thing that biden is clear on is that he wants education and infrastructure and so there is money out there and if you're thinking about changing your career do it no girl put that on your top three on monday your top three, meet with a career counselor, Google what FAFSA is, but do it mama. The next one comes from Doreen. Hi, my name is Doreen. I tried to file a tax for my daughter, but when I enter her social security number, I always says it doesn't match our records. We call social security and they say her number is fine. Then I called the IRS. Someone filed her using her number. They said, fill out the form and send it back. And we haven't received any seamless payments. I don't know what we can do to speed it up. She only received unemployment. Doreen, you're gonna have to wait because right now they're probably gonna have some more paperwork come to you where you have to verify that information. There's so much fraud going on right now and stealing of social security numbers and identity fraud, girl. They're probably gonna ask for a little bit more, but it's gonna probably be a little bit of a wait. You can always contact them. All right, the last one comes from Dominique. She says, hey, Shalay, I get Social Security due. My kids qualify for the child tax credit. I have a three-year-old and a 13-year-old. Right now, I'm not going to say yes and I'm not going to say no. As of right now, this is a child tax credit for those that file taxes. It will be an advanced credit for them. For those that do not normally file taxes, there's a lot of people that's advocating for you to be able to receive it. I don't know what they're going to put in this portal, how it's going to work, but as of right now, today, it's a no or it's kind of like money okay so but as soon as i find out dominique i have you so that's all i got thank you guys so much for answering and asking these questions continue to submit to actually go ahead and book your one-on-one -on -one session buy my ebook thank you thank you thank you so much for tuning in y'all i'm here to tell you once again let me go ahead and put this down in your spirit if you don't have a vision for your life okay I am here to tell you that you can be anything that you want to be, but you're going to have to work for it. It's not going to come to you. It's not going to fall off the sky. You must do it. If you ever want to go to hair school, you better go and try to find out what funding do I need? What school do I want to go to? You have to take those steps. And I promise you, once you start to make those little steps, God's going to be right there with you. Like, girl, I've been waiting on you. But if you still sit, keep sitting there watching me, I appreciate you. Appreciate you. But if you keep watching me, when I tell you the world is going to keep going, it's not going to stop for you and no one else, my darling. And when I tell you, I'm still going to get it. I'm, I'm on everything that's due to me. And I want you to get what's due to you as well. So as always, please like, comment, subscribe. Go ahead and take this weekend off chill. But on Monday, let's get it. Let's go. Bye, guys.